bottle. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, I would like to introduce the queen at this time who will speak, and she speaks with the thunder, and I think it's necessary that you listen because it's very important. We have to protect the people that are doing the work. What did I say? We don't, we don't protect our teachers and our leaders. And I do not want to see anything happen to this system, because I will go ballistic. And there's too much chicanery going on, and I don't like it. And you know me, I'm very open, I'm very accepting of things, and I'm accepting of things until they begin to encroach upon the safety and the, how do I say it, the veracity of what we're doing in the world. And nobody has the right to pimp it. All right? Check? And with that, I want you to give a warm welcome to Sister Myra Scott Evans. yourself and navigate through certain systems. Uh, this is also, this information, when executed properly, is extremely powerful, especially when the knowledge of law and commerce is mixed with the legacy and understood in the proper context as the teachings of Noble Draw Ali. This is basically the underground railroad of modern times if it's done properly and used properly. There's a lot of people out there selling all kind of paperwork, <coughs> not giving any instruction, not giving any explanation, not providing any teachings. And there are other people out there who are intentionally selling messed up information to trap people. Mm -hmm. So that when someone does come around and knows what they're doing, nobody wants to touch it because it's like my cousin, my this one got burnt and, and all of that. And so basically, I'm just saying that it is an extremely powerful tool. Uh, uh, I recently, well, uh, two years ago, did the 13-week classes, and I've been reluctant and waiting on spirit to tell me when to release it, because I know there's a lot of uh, con artists and vipers out there waiting for me to release this information, and so they can put their spin on it or bastardize it or or pimp it more than likely. And this is not that kind of situation. So um, here today is a preemptive uh, message so you know that people don't get jammed out, out there and then asking me for information. It's an enormous body of knowledge and this is why um, with the uh, paperwork I provide the knowledge and the education as how to utilize every document because this is extremely powerful and you have people out there 
you know, just selling information and hustling, and it can land you in a lot of trouble. You know, so um, basically, uh, recently someone told me that there was a brother uh, uh, claiming that he was a student of mine selling my 13-week class. That is not correct. Anyone, I am the only one authorized to sell that 13-week class. And basically, we're trying to find a more secure way of disseminating the information before we release it. Because it would be like putting a, a hand grenade in a child's hands if it's not properly understood and done properly. Um, also, I spoke to the brother who was rumored to be selling my paperwork. He's here today. And I spoke to him before I came forward. And he said that he, you know, that this is not true. Um, I don't have evidence of that, but I am trying to put that together. When I do find evidence that this brother is selling my paperwork, he will be put on blast. You know, and, um, you know, it will not be tolerated. It will be dealt with on multiple levels. Because this is the same paperwork that I'm discussing is the same paperwork that I utilize. And I don't want people walking around with the same paperwork that I have that don't know what the hell they're talking about. So I'm coming forward to let people know so that if you got paperwork from somebody else, please don't come back to me, you know, to, to verify, to look at it, to <coughs> deal with whoever you got the paperwork from. And if you don't know how to use it before you start filing things in the state and the county courts, you know, you need to know what to do. Uh, recently, a lot of people have been asking me to verify the Washita paperwork. Uh, I don't like to verify anybody's paperwork, but I will say, I will put the brothers, um, the empress, her son, who is dealing with the Washita paperwork, and I'll put his number out there for those who are, are considering the paperwork or want another perspective. You know, but I don't want to be verifying anybody else's information. You know, in terms of the efforts, from what I understand, she's in a nursing home in California. No one is allowed to speak to her uh, unless they go to her son. So with people asking me about paperwork from the Washita, I would direct you to her son. And his name is... Uh, suggest people bombard and call a brother just to shoot the breeze, but if you are serious, because a lot of people are sending me tons and tons of paperwork to read and review, and I don't have time for that, and it's, you know, not mine to review, so I believe in all cases, go to the source as much as possible, um, so that there's no um, misunderstanding and you know what you have. Because based on one of the brothers that had called me uh, and asked me the same information, I gave him the number, and he spoke to Brother uh, Joe Washington, and he basically, he said he's not putting any paperwork out there. And he had warned that they were a father and daughter who were putting out nationality paperwork having to do with the Washita Nation. And the father is serving 19 years in jail, and the daughter is coming out from a nine-year sentence. So I'm just basically trying to let everybody do their due diligence. Don't just run around here filing paperwork. 
people are selling paperwork.